What is up, everybody? It's your boy Onto the Boss here. I got another episode of Ultimate Team. And you guys see there is a promotion going on currently. It is the premium packs. There's a premium pack, and then there's also the 30 pack bundle. So I decided to go ahead and pick this up. Now, when you get the 30 pack bundle, you get a football outsider topper with it. So with the football outsider topper included, there's one football outsider card, obviously. So we'll get to we'll get to that in a bit. Um from these premium packs, you're just gonna expect gold cards, maybe rookie legends, elite cards, uh, fantasy cards. And right now, I'm not getting anything. Uh, Matt Forte, okay. Hey, oh, Dave Casper. I always get, you know, confused when I see those legendary cards, but they're only the rookie legends. I don't know why it happens to me. We'll start this off with Anton Winfield. I already have this card, so I'm just gonna go backwards now, hoping that there's something else. Cause if there's only gold cards in this, I'm gonna be pissed. So there goes yet another rookie legend. And Andre Ellington, there we go. 86 overall, fantasy edition. I think that was week eight, so that's not a bad card to have. Here we go with our final pack opening. Come on, premium packs. This is my first time I'm doing it. I better come out clutch here. I better leave as a happy customer and I get D'Angelo Hall 88 overall and you know I checked this card out and the overall the when you check the actual stats the overall might be a little deceiving I think this card should be a higher overall in my opinion in my opinion because I checked the stats out they're pretty beast man so I might actually go ahead and start that card out and look at my football outsider my oh my you gotta be kidding me so when i went to the auction i did see this card for four thousand six hundred i mean i thought when i bought the, when, I, when i dropped twenty dollars on these packs i thought for sure i was gonna get a beast of a football outsider but i got that left tackle you gotta be kidding me right so andre ellington will be a starter on my team and then there there, there goes david jeez david really had to ruin the day uh, as far as my pass offense goes, we're going to be sticking with the same pass offense, defensive front as well. It's going to be the same thing. But I decided to make a bold decision, defensive secondary. I took out Champ Bailey and I put in D'Angelo Hall. I looked at D'Angelo Hall's speed, his man coverage, zone coverage, and surprisingly, I felt like it's a better card than a Champ Bailey Elite card. So here we go. Week number seven is about to be underway. And I started this match off and I was having trouble. I decided to go ahead and roll with Andre Ellington in this one. And I was like, hold on, wait a minute. Let me check my guys, my opponent's team. And you guys see, legends all across, 99 overall. He had two Calvin Johnsons, Gene Upshaw. I mean, his guards were unstoppable. I mean, I don't know how I'm going to get through these guys right here. Uh, we'll check out the left end, right end. I mean, most of the players were either above 95 or legends. You see Jack Ham as his left outside linebacker. And these aren't even a rookie edition. These are the actual legendary cards. And he has two Jack Hams. This guy's about to go ham at me right now. So I am a little nervous about this. This does kind of drop my confidence, but you still got to play. I mean, although this is a David versus Goliath, you still got to play. And look at that bad pass right there. But it does get caught by Andre Johnson. And you see Drew Brees goes down. Get up, Drew. Don't do this to me, Drew. Drew Brees goes down with an injury. So we got RG3 coming in. And this man throws an interception. And we are only 40 seconds into the game. So here comes my opponent. Hands on off to Emmett Smith. Check this out. Three defenders get knocked down. I don't know what you call that in bowling. But there goes Emmett Smith with the first touchdown of the game. So I'm kind of intimidated right here. And like I said, my confidence did drop a bit. So I decided to go deep right here. I didn't really see any opening. So there goes the second interception of the game for my team. And my opponent comes out here with yet another possession. So on first and 10, look at this. Almost intercepted. But it's fine. You know, that happens. But on second and 10 again? Come on now. On third and 10, he does come out and find a wide open receiver. Calvin Johnson, man. I'm kind of worried about the 99 overall Calvin Johnson. So he's going to toss this one to Emmett Smith on third and six. And we stop him for a loss. So now it is fourth and ten. He decides to go for it. I don't blame him. Dan Marino with the inaccurate pass. So we're going to get the ball back. So I'm going to put everything behind me and try to get a nice drive going. Look at Ellington right here. Picks up decent yardage. 
and gets us a first down. Look at Drew Brees. Check out his accuracy right here. All shot Jeffrey. There we go. We are now in the opponent's territory. Look at this. Robert Griffin with the quarterback wrap. Although he threw an interception, he comes here, redeems himself, and goes in for the tying touchdown. My opponent now, a lot of time in the pocket, gets rid of it. Look who it is. Look who it is, Calvin Johnson. And look who he's about to go to here. Once again, Calvin Johnson with the reception. And he goes in for basically that play, that possession. Took him three plays. But, you know, I had to give him something back right here. Ellington on the screenplay. Follow your blockers, young man. Look at that O-line behind me. Can't even catch up, but ah, just short. Only two yards short of a touchdown. So we give an outside handoff to Chris Johnson. He dives in for a touchdown, and things are tied up. Now there's 40 seconds left in the first half, and he throws an interception to Troy Palomalu. He's going to be handing out shampoos after this game. My man just got an interception, and he sets us up at a good field position. Check out Ellington. Picks up nine yards on the play, and on second and one, Drew Brees gives it to Johnson for the outside route. So there goes yet another first down, and Ellington is just short. I thought for sure he went in, but we give it to Chris Johnson on the outside handoff. So he is now two for two, two touchdowns on two carries. So my opponent comes out. There's still 13 seconds left. With that reception, he goes for a field goal to make it about, what is this, a four-point game with that field goal. But I was looking at this. I was like, you know what? I have a second. Let me dive right here. Let me dive right here, and I still have a second up. Anything can happen right here. I said, you know, send Randall Cobb on the streak. Randall Cobb, let me use her arm. Let me go up there, and I caught that pass, and I go in for a touchdown. I I'm done. Okay, I'm back now. I, I know I have to, I have to finish out the game. I'm, I'm getting a little too excited. I do have to finish out the game. My opponent does have Calvin Johnson. Like I said, I keep on saying it. So on third and 15, now he gets rid of it. And his is that Calvin? Please tell me that was Megatron. Loses the ball at the one, and Jenkins is right there to pick it up. So here we go. Oh, oh. Drew Brees with the sub-zero handoff and it's getting a little breezy right now You see Ellington picks up a decent yard. So there goes Ellington once again. We're working the running game We're pounding the ball. Look at that pause move and Ellington is beasting out right now Look at him once again this time he gives the defender the stiff arm and picks up yet another first down. So you see the game starts to freeze up. You guys know what is coming. The connection to your peer has been lost and when I went back into the main menu I did receive my victory, so whew, I thought for sure I wasn't gonna receive that. You know, sometimes when your connection gets lost, I get those weird losses sometimes. It happened to me once, you guys witnessed it, but I do pick up a victory in week number seven. And as we're advancing to week number eight, I decided to go ahead and pick up an O-line. And Sam Baker right here, 84 overall BCA edition is definitely worth it, about 2,000 coins. Correction, 1,999 coins, that makes a difference. So he's gonna be uh, where, where do I have him? I have him at left tackle and I did move David, my boy David. Yeah, I'm going to call him by his first name. I moved David to as a right guard actually. So there you go. That's what my offensive line is going to look like. And we now kick off week number eight. So I was trailing by a touchdown in our first possession right here on the kickoff. Look at Cal. Oh, let's speed this up. And Chris Johnson goes in for the tying touchdown. So Go ahead and some late now. You see Terrell Pryor. Now, he did start off with Ben Roethlisberger, but every time he brought Terrell Pryor in, I already know he was going to do the quarterback rap, but my defense was prepared. So he decides to go for it on 4th and 16. Come on, Sue. <sighs> Sue, by the teeth of team on his back, and that's exactly what he does. Gets a sack, so we take over now. Look at Ellington. Finds the hole. Look at this. Uses his speed and takes this to the 28-yard line. Now Drew Brees steps back and finds Gronk. All right, now we got to wait for Gronk to fist pump. Come on. He, they, they need to add that in the game. They need to add Gronk fist pumping in the game. So there's about a minute 56 left now. Drew Brees on third and 15. Throws an interception. No. I believe that is Chad Greenway getting the interception. So now my opponent has guaranteed three points. So he could win it right here. But with Ben Roethlisberger stepping back, Charles Tillman gets the ball right back to us and it does not get any more clutch than that my team came out my defense got the stop that we needed and it says congratulations you have won not only 12 1250 coins but also two packs so we got a reward pack and a trick-or-treat pack 
I hope I get a candy bar out of this. Let's see, maybe a Twinkie. But I get 500 coins, okay? Hopefully I get a card. Contract, contract, con- Oh my goodness! <sighs> I don't know, I I'm just frustrated right now. I, I don't know, let's see what we're gonna get out of this. Dante Whitner, okay. So obviously I don't have my luck with those packs, but that is pretty much it. We got back-to-back -back victories. I'm feeling good about myself. David versus Goliath, we got that victory as well. Hope you guys enjoyed it. It's your boy Onto the Boss, and I am signing out. Follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash onto the boss. Once you have done so, I will keep you guys posted when I'll be uploading all of my videos. This is also a great way to reach me if you have any questions.